look at creating sections. So we're going to use frame labels and we're going to divide up the timeline so that, they're, that when we move the playhead we're going to be at different pages. So let's go ahead and get started. We have four main pages here. The home, about, pictures, and contact. So I'll divide up the timeline into four different areas. First of all, I'll get rid of this extra layer one, which really doesn't have anything on it. It has a blank keyframe, just left over from after the import. So we'll delete that by hitting the delete trash can. And now what we'll do is we'll have the top bar, which is there, the menu, and the four text files, and the home, about, pictures, contact, background. The order looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and go out to frame 40. I'm going to click and drag on frame 40 to select all of these. And notice again here that I do have the menu open so that I can get at uh, what's nested inside of the menu folder. And then I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut F5. And that adds the frames all the way here to frame 40. And now at this point, uh, some things need to stay here. For example, the background. Uh, is going to be there all the way except for on the contact page but for now we'll just go ahead and lock it in and keep it there for the whole time later on I could tweak that uh, but for the most part the background pretty much stays there for every page except again for the contact page okay and then the top bar that really stays there the whole time too so I'll go ahead and just lock that layer and the menu it's gonna stay on the whole time as well so I can go ahead and lock the menu and I can close up that folder. Now we'll focus on the home about pictures and, and that type of thing. So I want to divide this up a bit. And the way I can do that is to move on out to say frame 10. Okay. Actually we'll go ahead and go to frame number 9 because we'll have it switch when it gets to 10. Okay, so now I can see that I'm on frame 9, and I've selected the home about pictures and contact. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and, actually, I'll change my mind on that, and just instead of just adding a blank keyframe, I'll just select all of these right here, and then I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift F5, and now all of the pages have 9 frames. Oops, 8. We'll just go ahead and add one more. There we go, 9. So now I'll start to divide these up, and I'll do that by selecting the about all of them, starting from the first keyframe. I clicked and then dragged all the way to the end, and then I'll select, make the whole selection and move it over here to frame 10. Now I'm just going to repeat this by going to the pictures area, selecting that, and dragging it all the way over here to where it starts at 20. And I might have to do a little bit of tweaking, like right here I can see that I need to add a a keyframe. Okay. And then the last one is contact. And I'll drag it over so that it starts on frame 30. Add a keyframe here. And a keyframe just to make it look even. So you can see now if I take the playhead and I scrub right up here to the home page, when I shift over here to 10, frame 10, it shifts to the about page. When I get to frame 20, it shifts to the picture page. When I get to frame 30, it's the contact page. So now we've divided up the pages in the timeline. The next thing we want to do is add a layer that's going to handle the labels. So we'll go ahead and just add a new layer. And I like to bring that one up to the top. And we can label this, we can make this actions and labels. And then I'm going to divide this up as well by adding blank keyframes at frame 10. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut F7 and then one at 20 and one at 30. So now we have blank keyframes at, at 10 frame increments. And now we want to add the labels. So if I click on the very first one and then go over to the properties, this is again the home area. So we'll make this label home. And you'll see, as soon as I 
let go or uh, click somewhere else, I get a little red flag which indicates that there's a label and then it says home right there. And I'll just continue to do the same thing for the about. And the pictures. And finally the contact. There we go. We have divided up the timeline into four different sections, which correspond to our four pages of our website.